Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video, we are finally off to fight Vitalis with the Greatsword. Of course, we made some slight adjustments to the build. I chucked in the Glider Mantle with Heavy Artillery and Fire as of course. In place of Rocksteady this time, because I feel like Rocksteady might get me carted more than it will help. As the name generally implies, Cart Steady is uh, a gift and a curse. But uh, yeah, let's go take on Fatalis with the Greatsword. Alrighty, let's go. Now obviously, if you were doing this for yourself, definitely be a decent idea to change the uh, Frostfang gloves that I generally use to probably the Fatalis gloves or Raging Bracky or something like that. Just anything else because the Punishing Draw won't do anything to Fatalis here. It just kind of exists. So I'm essentially missing an armor piece there, but that's completely fine. I'm still going to weaken the chest. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of chest openings, not so much head openings, unless I start baiting cones and things like that. But we definitely want to start with that. Hopefully he doesn't body slam off that, which he didn't. Oh, there it is, unfortunately. Eh, oh, had to iframe it. Sketchy. So sketchy, because I've only got uh, two evade window on this build. So that's, that's very scary that he did that. But we definitely take it. I need to pick up more rocks when we can as well. Nope. Okay. Get a nice draw attack. Two, three. Bam. Nope. I think oh, I did go past his leg. We take those. Right. Uh, I do have rocks, actually. Maybe. He kind of went the opposite direction. Oh, no. I knew it wouldn't quite reach. So that's the main opening I think I'm going to be trying to get. But I might start just going towards the body instead of trying to snipe the head off it. Might be a better idea. Obviously, draw attacks are very solid still on this lad. Much like all the matchups are done with Greatsword. Uh, the, uh... Why are you still going into the wall? Is that another glitch spot? Because there's one over there as well. But, uh, that's interesting. Nope. I love when it doesn't input my roll. I really do. But that's alright. That's fine. It's all good. Just have to be careful because he could take off from pretty much any attack. Try this again. Oh, we hit the neck. Not great, but at least we still landed it. It's uh, better than last time. I'm not... Oh my god, I love it. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Get another one. Try again. No! I think I just have to go to the chest. It's too unreliable to sit there and try and do that if you haven't done the fight. Or you haven't done the, the matchup before. Because I'm just missing it repeatedly. And we're missing a lot of damage by not just landing the hit. So we might just go for the chest every time. I'm so tilted. For those confused as to why I'm tilted there. It was supposed to, uh... His leg is supposed to drag you when that happens. But whatever. See if it drags me this time. Oh look, it dragged me. What a surprise. What a surprise that it dragged me that time, but... Didn't set it up early enough, because, uh... Wanted to make sure that it actually dragged me. But that's alright. Okay. Little bit of a slow phase here, but that's completely fine, in all honesty. Oh my god, so many misses. It's honestly not that big of a deal that we're missing, but it definitely hurts the time quite a lot by not getting it. Nope. Um, I do want to weaken the chest again, but I feel like he's going to take off very soon. Please don't glitch into the wall. Okay, thank you. It's also just not safe to go for weakens all that often with Greatsword. That's why I'm just waiting. Kind of waiting for like grounded cone or something. Okay. Agitator's gone as well. That is grounded cone. Um, I think I get the wall bang off it instead. Because it'll do more damage than anything I can land from a weaken. Yeah. 1300. Not the worst. Quick one of these. Maybe. No, why? <laughs> I can't just scoot past the leg a little bit. You know, get some distance on it. That's alright. Oh, he double punched. Triple punch. 
<laughs> Yuck. Garbage. Okay, that's decent. Nope. Okay. Risky going for it immediately. Okay, that works. If he took flight there, we were, uh, we were not happy. But that's okay. It works out. No. Okay. I would like some more rocks as well. You generally don't want to use dragon pods on him if you're playing greatsword, because you'll stagger him out of your own hit. Which is not good. I figured he was close. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too, too bad. We missed a lot of TCSs there. As I said, I think it might be better to just go for the chest while we're playing solo, because obviously these damage openings are few and far between. Maybe bait out some cones in this phase as well before he gets to blue flame. Might be a decent idea. So we can try and break the head. Which is going to be a bit annoying, actually. We didn't get the half break either. But that's okay. I did weaken the chest recently though, so we have an easy target, which is good. Okay, that's fine. Keep in mind, if we don't get the, the break either, we can go to the blister and land like one shot into it. Should be more than enough. That's fine, we'll go to the blister. It should take about one shot, generally speaking, because we did get like the, the break kind of thing. Just gonna pick up ammo. Came over to me. I'm glad I didn't hop on then. Uh, that... Shoot him. See? Get yeah, oh, the glider. If it gets me carted again, I'm going to be so mad. But that's alright. It is what it is if it happens. Hopefully his head drags me. I don't think it does, though. We're too far. No! I knew it was coming! God damn it! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it as soon as we got the knockdown that his head wasn't going to drag. Whatever. We got a decent chunk of damage at least. I don't even think we got the half break there, so we're definitely going to have to bait some cones while he's standing up here. There it is, beautiful. Not going to weaken again. This is our chance to deal damage, so we literally can't weaken yet. Try get another one. Cone! Lovely. Bonk. No half break yet. God damn. Interesting. I guess I didn't deal all that much damage, so it makes sense. No, game, go to the damn body part that I'm aiming at. <laughs> Might be the same as, um, Basil, where it's like, okay, you're, uh, you're not quite facing his front and his wings are too big. But that's so tilting, man. It's definitely quite tilting, but at least we got Temporal back, so... Oh, it's a cone, feels bad. Because I think we're going to get put down right next to it. Or we get the half break, that works too. Try bait some more cones, maybe. I'm still going to go bait cones, regardless whether he's uh, enraged or not, I feel like. Send it early. Oh my god, that's so... Yeah, I just have to go to the chest. I've missed way too many of them. Nice cone, though. Nice and easy. I think I could honestly land a bit more off that. I'm just trying to be consistent with it. Um, I think you could land like a draw slash into TCS. Like, level 1 TCS is uh, the option out of that. Get the wall bang. Nice and easy, because he laid down. Alright, here we go again. Should be able to land a tackle. Nice. Into blue charge. Oh my god, really? <laughs> really, game? And his arm decided to catch me again. That's why I have to keep delaying the roll so late, because he keeps putting his arm directly in front of me. But that's fine. Baiting Cone is very, very potent, by the way, for anyone trying to clear him. Like, if you want to make sure you break the head, Baiting Cones is very, very solid. It's also just good damage. But, uh, I generally try not to in these videos, because I know a lot of people struggle, and I find it's literally because they're trying to bait cones and stuff like that when they just need to kill the monster. Because you, you've seen it in the videos, right? You just go to the chest and you'll kill him. It's not that bad. But I've seen a lot of people that can't kill him because they're too focused on getting head breaks and stuff. And that is literally why you can't kill him. I see it all the time. Um, I don't think the head's going to be weakened anymore, but we're still going to try and land damage. I might actually weaken on the first one and then get like a, a tackle 
uh, wide slash or something just to get some damage into it and a weaken because obviously we have uh, two binders here I'm gonna run yep I knew it wait we didn't right we got half break I was like why why blue flame oh perfect Oh, was, is his head out of bounds? Mm, no? Okay, we're good. Grab his head, smack it. As I said, make sure it's weakened for the next binder. Quick. Oh, we don't even have time for that. Okay, noted. Noted, 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 noted. Don't try and run towards him there. We're way too far. Don't do it again, please. That's fine. We land punish off that. Oh my god, really? <laughs> it hit a bad hit zone, what a waste of time. That's alright though. Yeah, I'm not falling for that. Gotta pick this up anyway. Swap. No! Oh, I was staring death in the face, and I laughed at it. Please don't miss this. Because if we miss it, I don't think we break the head. Okay, we're good. That's a guaranteed head break, pretty much. We've done so much damage to him. Bonk. Gotta trust. Trust in the process, my friends. Okay, another one. He should definitely phase here, by the way, as well. So we're gonna position to, like, the center, essentially. And he dragged me. Beautiful. Go to the middle. Nope. Beautiful stuff. Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna greed, I'm gonna greed. I generally don't recommend this, but uh, there's a spot you can stand where you should be able to land quite a good chunk of damage if you position right, but I don't know where it is. I think it's about here, at the logs here, I think. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I had to go for it. Uh, it's always fun to land that one. What? How? Game! Okay, at least he didn't downward cone from that. I'd have been so salty. Game out to kill me. <laughs> As it should be. It is uh, Fatalis after all. Okay, there's a half break again. You want to give me another cone? That would be beautiful, mate. Okay. Downward. Just weaken the head. Gotta go for it immediately. Greatsword's really slow. See, we still didn't even get it. Just wait. Okay, that's fine. Chasing the cat. Agitator's gone as well. And he's laying down. Triple fireball. No! Okay. I had a much preferred triple fireball over that, but that's okay. It is what it is. Side to side. Good, he dragged me. Oh my god. Did it not crit? I don't think that crit, right? 450 feels way too low. Okay. Another one you're probably noticing in the videos. I don't do the first slinger. Like, bef to, to knock him down there. I always just let him belly flop. Because he tends to do it quite often. If you just leave him alone. He'll, uh, he'll do it himself. Okay. Fine. Is that phase? That's fine. Um, we have no rocks, otherwise I'd go for it again. It is just free damage for Greatsword if you can land that. It's a huge chunk of free damage for a max pot, essentially. Because it basically costs a max pot to get it back. Also, what did she say? Okay, just a flame. I, I thought she said Ballista ready or something. It's gonna be like, hell yeah, dude. Give me that Ballista any day of the week. Okay, free weaken. It should be free weaken unless he belly flops. Bruh. No way, dude. Should have time, though. Just get close to him in case he does it again. Nope. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, another free weaken. Free damage. Take it. The sleep. Okay, now we're talking, Mr. Cat. We are... We love to see that. <laughs> 
I would definitely take that. Oh. I'll take that any day of the week. We definitely take those. Oh, Dragonator. We are way too close. Mm, I knew it. Um, do not... Never Dragonator when he's in the air, by the way. The knockdown that you get is not worth it. Wait for him to land, because he usually comes down to you. Like, he'll go directly down to where you are when he lands. Do not ever Dragonator when he's in the air. It, it is not worth it. 100% just do not. Just wait for him to waddle over. I love that little step he does, by the way. It's so cute. Yep, wiggle over. Get your free damage. Get a massive knockdown. Always worth waiting for him to land. Always wait for the land. Also, he gets up very quickly. So we send it straight to this. Because it's a Dragonator knockdown. It doesn't last long. This will phase him as well. No? Really? No phase off that? Okay. That's fine with me. That's completely fine with me. Also, no Giga Fireballs. What is this? He has not done triple fireball once yet. Turn around. Oh, is that the chest break? Yeah, it is. Well, while I'm here, you know, you may as well uh, just chill over here for a bit. Still got plenty of glider mantle as well. And if we don't get the, the knockdown, we've still got the blister ammo. I've got eight shots left. We can definitely get it with heavy artillery. Down you get your big boy. Not bad. First try. We baited a lot of cones, which again I don't fully recommend unless you're using something like Greatsword, for example, or Sword and Shield. Because I'm pretty sure I did it with Sword and Shield as well, because you have to land perfect rushes, that's your damage basically. But yeah, first try, I'll take it. Definitely a lot less stressful than a lot of other weapons, but again, that's just because you're supposed to bait cones with Great Sword, I feel like. And it would have been a lot faster if I baited, or if I uh, went for chest breaks instead of the head snipes. Because when he does the patrolling cone, you can aim towards his head or you can aim towards the chest, both are consistent. Um, triple fireball is another one. If he did triple fireball, we could have sat at the chest and aimed it roughly towards the center of his body because that's where his head goes after the third fireball. So he'll like, say he's standing up here, he'll always put his head back here, even if he's triple fireballing in, fireballing in different directions, he'll always go back to the middle afterwards. So you should be able to snipe off that too. But uh, that was very easy. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'd say I'm glad I practiced the, the wake up, but we've messed it up anyway. I guess his horn like protrudes out a little bit, so it didn't get enough distance. Actually, I learned from that, always just charge your slash, even if the messed up hit lands. At least it'll deal good damage that way. Well everybody, that was our second last weapon with Soul Wing Fatalis. These have actually gone really easily. I feel like that it might just be a heavy amount of sunbreak carrying my knowledge of weapons. Um, we've got the charge blade next. It's going to take a long time to get that video out. Purely because that character has to farm out a silly amount of decorations. And get a set that I'm comfortable to go into the fight with. It's not going to be full Fatalis gear obviously. Because we're not going to go kill him. We're not going to go farm uh, his materials with a gather palico. We're just going to send it raw. With equipment that you should have when you get to him. At least in my opinion. So that video would probably take a while. There might be even might even be a few streams of going to farm decorations and stuff. If you all want to hang out and get some more decorations. Uh, the Twitch link should be just there. And if not, it's always in the description as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one.